can you clap, please? Slate one. Even Gordon Ramsay, he does that sort of thing. <laughs> 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 beautiful people welcome back to my channel this is just Janet here oh my goodness happy new year everyone my very first vlog of the year I haven't felt I haven't vlogged in so many weeks <laughs> especially towards the end of the year I was gonna show you how we celebrate Christmas and New Year but couldn't do it because you know we got so busy and then I got sick so but I'm all better now it wasn't COVID so good Good to be back, good to um, show you what we're doing here in the other part of the world, in Sydney, Australia. It was a beautiful day today. Today is Sunday, by the way. And for my very first vlog of the year, we are going to cook. And I have my son here as my co-host. Hi. <laughs> It's me, and Gerald. Nice to see everyone again. Yeah, nice I'm sure. to be on the vlog again. Yeah, you've seen him um, in some of my vlogs. Yes. So. Um, I thank God that um, 2023 started really well and so my, for my first vlog again like what I said earlier we are cooking something that's very famous to us Filipinos and it is the famous adobo but well, we're cooking chicken adobo today chicken yeah. adobo and the premise of today is that what's actually happening is I'm going to cook it so yes. I'm not just the co-host, I'm going to be the cook as well as mom just carefully and I guess nicely hopefully just guides me <laughs> in how, how to make it. For the record, I do know how to cook some foods, some other foods, but I actually have not cooked adobo. Yes. So this will be interesting. Because um, I would like to teach them to show them how to cook Filipino dish dishes especially their favorites like sinigang, Jemmy likes sinigang, uh, baboy or pork sinigang and um, Jeriel, he likes adobo, he likes spaghetti or Filipino spaghetti. So I want to show them how to cook these things, these dishes so that when I'm not here, when they want to eat Filipino dishes, they can do it themselves. Diva! So. Diva. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, yeah, so today, that's our item for today. We're, I'm just gonna give him instructions and let's see how this chicken adobo will turn out. Okay? Hopefully good. Let, yeah, let's hopefully just hopefully good. good. Actually, right? in this house, besides me, he's the one who, who often cooks as well. So. Because, you know, he's the one who's always in the house um, before he had his job. So I always show him how to, how to cook some of the dishes that I do. Yes. So, yeah. So shall we start cooking? Yeah. Okay. You want to tell what's the ingredients for this chicken adobo? Okay. So, of course, the most obvious ingredient, chicken. Uh, you can actually use a lot of different ingredients for the meat, for the protein. You can have pork. Um, you can have fish. I have tried um, chicken feet adobo, which was actually pretty good. That I but, haven't tried. Yeah, very but... interesting actually. A lot of collagen, but this is probably the most common one, your chicken adobo. Yes. Uh, we have some onions, some garlic, bay leaves, soy sauce, and finally, vinegar. And also salt and pepper. Salt okay. and pepper, which aren't here, but yes. Yes. With this chicken, I just bought uh, one kilo, uh, 1.5 kilos of chicken drumettes. I was supposed to go to our butcher where I can buy a whole chicken and then cut it because it's so much better to use the whole chicken. It's so much, um, it's tastier. So, but couldn't have, I don't have time to go there this afternoon. So I just bought the chicken drumet wing. So yeah, that's also good. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Right. Let's get started. Start. Okay, so Jerry now will start cutting our, uh, the garlic and the onions. So about 10 cloves of garlic. 10 cloves? Yes, bawang. Oh what's garlic in Tagalog? Bawang. And what's Ay, what's no. onion in Tagalog? Sabuyas. Yes, very good. Salamat po. <laughs> I'm pretty, so. I, I, I know that much at least. Yes. I try to know that much. It's good to have um, um, a lot of garlic, you know. Yeah, because we love our garlic. We love our garlic, we love our it's onion. Yeah. Like in every dish that we cook, Filipino dish, I think there's always a garlic and an onion. So, yes. Okay, you paper yes. towel? Yes, please. Wait, 
Is that cheating? What? Should I have done that? Which one? Are you helping me? Oh, no, it's okay. I can help you. Okay. I thought I was seriously all alone in this one. Uh, Alright, so how am I cutting this one? Oh, you just crush it and, crush, then, and, then, and then slice it here. Okay. Mince it. So. Just crush one by one. Show your muscles. Why just, you gotta bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> just crush all of it like that. And then you. Yeah, and then you remove the skin. Okay. There you go. Yeah. How was that? That's ten. yeah, that's good. Okay. Wasn't a number, but she said it was good, so that's <laughs> fine. We'll go with that. No, I know. Because we have 1.5 kilos of chicken, so a lot of garlic is good. Ah, okay. Too much. Yeah. No. See this one. That's okay. I, I I already minced it just by crushing it. I think a um, few months, a few weeks ago, I showed Jamin how to cook um, sinigang na pork, sinigang na baboy. So, so hopefully he remembered it, that he can cook it by himself. Wait, Kuya or me? Kuya. You also showed me, remember? Did I? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of remember that because uh, it's, it's actually... Sinigang is quite simple. It's kind of just put everything together. Yes, it's very and, easy to cook. And let it boil, so... You just need to put the right amount of salt. Mm. And then you just mix everything together, boil the meat, and then put the veggies. Make sure this is clear. Don't be messy. <laughs> yes, chef. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like... That's why I would have done it singularly, so it's less mess. Mm, okay. Gonna create a kitchen rivalry, mom? No. No. Why? No. Just weary. <laughs> Who's the better cook? Now that's easily you. Of course. Humble, <laughs> ma. Humble. Humble. <laughs> okay. And then the parang ganon. Yep. Calling no one more I salam Look at our vinegar. It looks like it's water. This is the Australian vinegar. I couldn't buy the Datu Puti or Silver Swan. And I really need vinegar now, so I just went and picked up this from the grocery, from our local grocery store. Alright, now what's next? You cut the onions. The onions. Oh, wow. That's a technique. I haven't done that before. I created it myself now. <laughs> Just slice it like that. Question. Does it matter whether it's red onions or brown onions? It doesn't matter. So it creates the exact same outcome. Yes, right? yes. Mm. Okay. You're crying. You're crying. Oh, he's crying, guys. <laughs> it, just, it just came. Oh my gosh. Oh, I always cry too. It's okay. It's okay enough. Ah, yeah. Thank you for that. The Don't cry. Yeah. Gosh. Okay. Nice. Let's get to the next part. And then we go and um, start the cooking. Okay. So we have finished the preparation stage and now we're going to be moving on to the cooking stage. Mother, what are we going to go <laughs> Yes, <do> son. <laughs> yes, mom. What are we going to do first? So put the oil now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be using uh, extra virgin olive oil. Um, nice. Does it matter? It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Okay, yes. Great. How much oil oil? We can oil use normal oil. Am I to put Around it? two tablespoons. But you know, like... When I cook, we just touch the chancha. Estimate. We just the feel, estimate. The feel. Yeah. The feel. The feel. It's just the estimate. Just feel. More, more, more. That was only one tablespoon. So. <laughs> okay, that's enough. That's a, is that hot enough? Yes, I think so. I think so too. Put both. No, just the onion first. Okay, so I'm only yes. putting the onions in first. Because the onion cooks um, uh, longer. It takes longer to cook than ah, the garlic. Okay. So we don't want to burn the garlic. Okay. 
You just wanna, you just want the garlic to be brown, not burnt. Yeah. Have you talked about the smell of um, cooking onions and garlic before in your previous videos? No, not really. But like, just the aroma of cooking onions and garlic is so good. Yes. Um, and it's only, you, and for Filipinos, in most dishes, it's the first two ingredients that go into a pan. But it's always the thing that smells usually the best. Of course, the finished product is nice. I think it smells but. even better when you put ginger. Ah. Yes. Ginger is expensive here, so. <laughs> Yeah, we don't have oh, a lot it's of that. okay today. It's okay really? today. I remember, I think two Christmases ago, ginger was like fifty dollars a kilo here. Yeah. Or Forty-three dollars a, a yeah, kilo. A oh my like gosh! That. But now it's okay now. Even though we have inflation, ginger is okay. It's only forty dollars. No. <laughs> Ten dollars less. <laughs> okay, so now we're going yep. until it's brown. A little bit. Slightly brown and softened. Yeah. Okay. And then we have our garlic. Very yep. nice. Garlic. You know, as um, especially me personally, I like adobo a little bit dry. But um, other people they like the adobo with a lot of sabaw. Mm -hmm. But me, I like it a little bit dry and with a little bit of oil. You know, oily kind of thing. Yeah, for instance, I, don't know. I think Dad likes sabaw. Does he like yeah. sabaw? Yeah. Because because it's nice to put the sabaw into the rice yes. and then you have it with you know your chicken or something. It's just really kind of makes it very... Yeah, because I think in some provinces in the Philippines, they, they we we like our adobo in a different way. Mm. Like one with, sometimes no, one with no sabaw at all, just oil. Mm. And then some people, they like it with sabaw. Yeah, very but, interesting. Yeah. Alright, so what are we doing next? Uh, After just sauteing the Just keep on garlic? stirring. Okay, until what state? Are a we little bit to? brown, make the um, garlic more brownier than that. Okay, got it. Parang boy bawang. Parang <laughs> boy bawang? Oh, the ma. smell? Hindi, yung browning na bawang. Oh, that's too brown. Ay, too oh. brown na yan? Maybe that, that's too brown. Okay. Yeah. Boy bawang talaga. Boy bawang talaga. <laughs> that's the only thing I can relate to bawang. That's the cornic. It's a snack in the Philippines. That Philippine, that we Filipinos love. I hope you don't hate me. I don't really like it that much. You don't like boy bawang? I mean... That's okay. I, there was a lot of other Filipino snacks I yeah. would eat first before boy, boy bawang. I think the older generation likes it more than the younger generation. Yeah. Okay. Just keep on stirring so it doesn't burn. Okay, you can put the chicken now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Work. Make sure you remember this, huh? Huh? Oh yeah, right. That's the kind of main reason why you're teaching me this. Yeah, so I don't need to cook. <laughs> Stir, stir, stir. Halo, halo. If you're not someone from the Philippines, chicken adobo is really easy to cook with really simple ingredients. So hopefully, you can cook this this dish after you watch this video. Okay. So okay. My question now here is, how long do I have to stir it for? Because it still looks really raw. Yes, I know. Uh -huh. That's okay. Put a little bit of salt. So the what do you call this? Uh, yung lasa ng manok. The essence of the chicken. <laughs> that was two pinches. Do you want another pinch? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yes to another pinch? Hmm. So, again, about three pinches. No, the worth juice, of salt. the taste of the chicken will really come out. So, we have to saute it for a few minutes. Okay. Okay, and then you can cover it and leave it. Like that, maybe 10 minutes. Okay. Now we're gonna cover it. Let it simmer in a way, or saute. Yeah. For 10 minutes? 10 minutes. No around, problem. around 10 minutes. And you just check it. If it's starting to burn, then you have to. You have to stir it in You a have way. to stir it again. Okay. But that should be fine. 5 to 10 minutes Five should 10 be minutes. fine. And then we're gonna put our. What are we gonna put next? We're gonna put the probably most important ones because they really bring out the flavor. Our soy sauce, um, our vinegar, as well as our bay leaves. Mm -hmm. So those are gonna be really important, and they really bring out the the essential flavor of adobo. Of adobo. Yeah. Yes. A few minutes later.
Okay, now you can add what what are you gonna put now? Well, oh yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> let's put the soy sauce, the the bay leaf, the bay leaves vinegar. Vinegar. Okay. Now, out of the three, what would you say is probably the most important one? Is there one specific ingredient out of the three that really oh. brings up, or do they really coincide? Not really. I just do it my way. So okay, this this is not in any particular order. So right. put put bay leaf. Maybe bay leaf five first. five pieces of bay leaf. All right, five pieces of bay leaf then. Yeah. Does it matter how big they are, or it's kind of okay? Mm, the big ones. The bigger ones. Okay. Yes. Yeah. If there is big ones. We have um somewhat. Yep. That's okay. Small ones. These are okay. That's okay. Now bay leaves look like the leaves of gum trees here in Australia. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, if you need some, I guess you could grab some. Is that okay? Wait. Yeah. No, there's a bigger one. Ito. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mix. It's a nice mix. Mix. Put the um, vinegar. You can already kind of smell the bay leaves as it reacts to the heat. How much vinegar am I putting? In? Um, just two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. And again, tancha. Tancha? Yeah. Tancha, tancha. Estimate. Uh, just feel it. You know. Oops. Yeah. That oh, okay. Be no. <laughs> I like that uh, concept of tancha. You know, even um, what was it? Even Gordon Ramsay, he does that sort of thing. <laughs> He's like, you know, you just get the feel of it when it's suddenly enough. And then you can kind of just tweak it later on. Yeah, he, he used to watch Gordon Ramsay a lot. Yeah, the, the kitchen ones and the hotel nightmare ones. Yes. Yeah. But also the cooking ones, though. Sometimes. Okay, should I add leave this? It, leave it for a few minutes. Okay, lid back on. Let or? the aromatics. What do you call this? The, sh the, sh the vinegar. The vinegar. <laughs> What are you gonna say? Let vinegar. the vinegar um, set in. Okay. <laughs> set in, though. <laughs> Settle in. It's so hard to speak Tagalog, no? <laughs> Nahinatan ka? Oh, hard to speak English. Not Tagalog. Hello. Oh, really? Hello. <laughs> See, you're having trouble there. You, you still messed up. You de yeah, you're definitely oh having trouble. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And then we, you put um, soy sauce and then you put water. Soy sauce, then water. Yeah. Oh. The water I didn't know. Let's just you'll just let it simmer for a few more minutes. Okay. Maybe just 20 minutes. Para the chicken is really tender. Mm. So yeah. this soy sauce is which one is this? With the soy sauce, Mata maybe pina. I need you to um, use a measuring cup. Okay. Put um, measuring cup or can I use a tablespoon? Just a measuring cup. We have measuring cup there. Oh. What size is this again? Half a cup. Using half a cup? Yeah, uh, because... fill to the brim? Mm. So I don't want it to get really salty. Mm. Plus we're gonna add water anyway, so it should be fine. So that much? Yeah. Just put it. Because soy we, sauce. we're gonna simmer it for a long time. Ah, yeah, okay. Soy sauce and cooking is really nice yeah. though. It's such a, an amazing ingredient. Should I stir? I put a lot of soy sauce, but that's okay. Should I stir it? Yeah, stir it and then put water. And then too big. Too big. Right. Here's this one. Two one, cups of water. Two cups of water. Ito yung isa. Isa. Uh, uh, one more. One more? Yes. Because we're gonna let it simmer for a while, so until the water is, um, what do you call it? The water... Evaporates? Evaporates, yes. Okay. So I'm guessing that like, you want to get to a point where the chicken is able to kind of soak in the mixture of water and vinegar, bay leaves and soy sauce. Yep. Um, kind of like a cooking, marinating process. Mm -hmm or boiling, but we're not necessarily boiling it because we want the water to evaporate. Yes. Okay. Okay, you can cover it now. All right, let's put the lid on. And let it, and just let it boil. For how long? Maybe this one. Sometimes I let it boil for like 30 minutes because right. I want the chicken really tender, you know, like it's, it's 
coming off the bone. Okay. Yeah, so. And just a quick one, should we alter the heat at all or no? No, that should be fine. All right. Yep. Well, we'll let it boil for 30 minutes. Yes. And we'll show you the final product. I would go um, cook it some more because for me, there's still a lot of um, sabao, a lot of soup there. Mm -hmm. But I think that should be enough now because most of them will like the sabao. But what do you think we should do, Jeriel, before we stop cooking? What do you think you should do? I, I don't know. You have to taste it. Oh. Make sure it tastes yeah. good. Sorry, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, do I, am I supposed, to, am I supposed to know something? Always taste your food to make sure it's good. Yeah, um, but also what we have done, um, during the 30 minutes of it kind of boiling, you can add two, tea, two tablespoons of sugar, sorry, and about, how would you measure the pepper? Just a dash of pepper. A, a few of dash of pepper. Yeah, so not too much, but you want the sugar because uh, it helps to kind of thicken the Caramelize, sauce. Yeah, Caramelize. Thicken the sauce. the sauce. Wow, look Sorry. at you, Miss uh, studied at See, home uh, chef school. I know I don't how know. to use caramelized now. <laughs> so oh, it, taste yeah, it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. So it will caramelize it and you know, the pepper yeah. is just there to add balance to the flavors. So. Let's see. Oh, yeah. You need to add more salt or pepper. No, it's perfect. It's got that perfect kind of saltiness that you want Ooh, um, in a double. Perfect. And um, it still has that um, kind of acidic taste and, and, and the soy sauce, it kind of just, it's very good. Yeah? Yes, okay. it's wonderful. Yep. Let's put it in a bowl and mm -hmm. transfer it onto the table, yeah? All right, and that's the adobo plated and on the table. I think. Yay, you yeah. finished cooking adobo. I think it looks really good. It looks it's, like an adobo. It does look like an adobo and it smells really good too. Um, so we're going to try it. It smells about pa. Yeah. Mm. How's that? Mm. Oh, it's really nice guys, I'm not joking. It's really an adobo. <laughs> well that's good. I mean if it turned to be something else, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know whose fault it would be. Very good. It would be my fault or mom's fault if it. Bad. Now, I can have um, days off in cooking because you can cook a domino. <laughs> I hope that you will watch more of my videos and please guys, don't forget to subscribe. I really um, would like to encourage you to subscribe on my channel and don't forget to like it and click that bell so that you'll be notified every time I have a video yes. um, yeah, in the future. So, Please, hopefully, that I'll continue vlogging. I really enjoyed it so much, and I hope that you will enjoy this chicken adobo. Bye, guys. Have a great week. God bless you all. 